I'm Brian Homerick, and I'm one of the assistant principals at Lingle Middle School. And we want to take a few minutes to talk to you about what it looks like when a student moves to a blended or online format to receive their lessons at Lingle Middle School. Hey, I'm uh, Corey Ritten. I teach math and geography here at Lingle Middle School, and I want to talk you through how to check your child's Google Classroom for uh, assignments that are due, their calendar, all of those things uh, revolving around the uh, classroom. Once you get logged on, uh, they're gonna have a tile for each of the classes that they're in. Uh, the way they're set up is basically up to them, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a tile for every class. Uh, up at the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna see three horizontal lines that's uh, right next to the thing that says Google Classroom. If you click on that, um, it's going to list all of their classes just without the tiles, just the list. Uh, but more importantly, there's going to be a calendar button. When you click on the calendar button, it's going to go week by week and it's going to show you everything that has a due date uh, and when that is and for what class and so on and so forth. Uh, if there's not a due date, obviously they're not going to put that in the calendar. So another place to help just to double check to see where they're going is to go into uh, each specific class. Uh, the stream is like like a Facebook feed, but without all the funny memes and stuff. It's really just a list of what's going on. Um, any announcements or anything coming up, uh, as far as that, that's where you'll find that. The most important tab will be the classwork tab. That's where they have the actual list of assignments. You can go into all the assignments and see what links have been posted and uh, what's due, uh, how many points, if any, on there. Um, those are the things that you can look for in there. Um, and that's, that's really just, that's it. That's how it works. Hi, my name is Maddie Greer and I'm a teacher here at Lingle. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about checking your students' grades. So if you go onto the Rogers Public School website, there's a um, tab that says grades. You can click there. Um, you'll have a drop down where, you'll, where you will find Rogers Public Schools. Your username and password will be identical to your students. You will just add a, the letter P at the end of the username. Um, once you get in there, you'll find um, a button that says classes and that should pull up all of your students' classes with all of their grades and assignments. Hi, my name is Kayla Matichek. I'm gonna be covering how to get your student logged on to Google Meets. So there are two different ways that you can make this happen. One, your student might have a direct link that they click on to join the Google Meet, or the teacher might just provide a code to get their student logged on. So for example, for my kids, I just use my last name, Matichek, and they just type that in to get to the Google Meet. Another thing, after they enter the code or click the link, they might, for the first time, need to allow access to their mic and camera to actually get onto the Google Meet. So a notification should just pop up and you can click allow to make that happen. Once your student is on the Google Meet, they need to make sure that they treat this as an actual class time. So as best as possible, try to participate, stay engaged, ask questions, let the teacher know when you're confused or if you miss something, whatever they need. Um, depending on the teacher in the situation, your student might be on the Google Meet during actual class time with their normal students or this might be a before after school thing where your student just has needs to ask questions and they it's a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session um, but regardless just remember this is a school setting and if your student needs help accessing the google meet make sure you can email your teacher hey everyone coach white here uh, let you know the best way to get in contact with your teachers the best way to get in contact with your team teachers is to email them. Uh, they usually get back to you pretty quickly that way. The best way to do that if you don't already have their email address is to go to the Rogers Public School website, go to the school directory, click on Lingle Middle School, go down to staff. You can search in one of two ways. You can search by department or you can search by them individually. You should be able, when you're there, the best way to do it is to copy and paste uh, their email address into your preferred email. And then email them and they'll get back to you. Thank you. Hi, 
bilingual lions, this is Miss Herbert, and I just want to remind you that even when you're not here, you have access to um, tons of e-resources. So make sure that you've joined my Google Classroom, and that has on the Google Classroom all the information you need for your Rogers Public Library and how you can still access books online through Destiny Discover. You can also email me if you have any questions or you need your library card number, and I'd be glad to help you. Thanks.